Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, we are, well, I am going to be talking about some of just the problems that are, that are kind of that, as we've been going into 2021, since we're almost, we're just about in spring here in the United States, and yeah, so we're almost about a quarter of the way done with 2021. So, so I'm going to kind of go through some of the problems, I guess we could say, that were, that I've been seeing, and, you know, also kind of give you what my opinion is, like, of the perfect world, like, what really would be the best. Now, before, now, a little disclaimer, this is not based off religious views, this is not based off of political views, this is just based off of my opinion alone. So, yeah, no one else is, no, no, like, other outside world, this is just coming straight from me, my opinion, what my ultimate vision is, if I could just change the world, what my perfect world would look like, okay? So, let's get into the problems that lately I've been kind of seeing. So, the first problem is these coronavirus vaccines. Now, the vaccines are not really the problems themselves. It's just the dis the process of distribution. Now, I've said before, I don't plan to get vaccinated. I don't see the point. If enough people get vaccinated, we should be all fine. Believe, believe it or care, whatever you want. But one thing that is has come up lately is this one vaccine. It's not... I don't think it's available here in the United States. The AstraZeneca vaccine, it has been reported and shown to cause blood clots, and even some deaths have been uh, have been attributed to it. And some and some European countries have shut down production or, or not production, but just they're not using they're not using it. They're saying we're not going to use it. It's not safe. And yet the World Health Organization and I think the CDC has even said like don't just disregard that. Don't don't care about it. It's you know it's fine. Like that that's 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 just you know whatever. It's more important to vaccinate people than regardless of that the vaccine might kill them. Like you mind if I like is that right? Like that's like and that's that's medical professionals. That's like the head of you know medical knowledge in the world they're saying it's okay disregard that people are dying from this thing that's supposed to help them like you mind how i ask is that right i don't understand it like that like that's also a problem but there's another problem that's well kind of brewing it's not really a problem now it but in the next few months i could easily see it kind of becoming a problem and the problem is a va coronavirus vaccine passport. Now, what what does that mean? Well, at, at this moment, Israel has something kind of like, just as I said, like a coronavirus vaccine passport. So basically, once you get your vaccine, I guess it's kind of like an app or like something on your phone or online where, you know, it just shows you got your vaccine. And then basically you can do things and do kind of live your life normal. You can go into restaurants, go to amusement parks or movies or whatever but if you don't have it you can't do anything you basically don't exist you are not you're basically not a citizen of society so in a way it's like this thing is mandatory even though they're saying it's not mandatory and it's like how is that right like it's basically kind of using fear to make people get the vaccine and dare I say a you know, kind of a vaccine that no one knows the long-term effects of, or vaccines, I should say, vaccines that no one knows the long-term effects of, and, you know, it's basically like, if you get this, you're a normal citizen, you can live your life, and, but if you don't, you're basically not a citizen, you basically are literally not even a, a human being in society. And what's scarier is that other countries are considering doing this and by other countries I mean the, Uni the United Kingdom and the United States are considering or maybe they're not considering but they've brought up the idea like I've already said that's a terrible idea that's mandating this vaccine and there are plenty of people well besides the fact that so many people don't want to get this and don't see the need to get this and just on other places in the world it's super hard to get it 
Like, what are you going to do? Like, if you don't get this, they just can't live? Like, that's ridiculous. And another problem that, and also something else, and this is kind of leading into the other problem that's kind of going around lately, it's discriminatory. Like, like, it's not, it's like this, that type of discrimination between vaccinated and unvaccinated, it's going to make things so much worse like it's gonna divide people even more than how they are divided right now so that kinda of brings us into our next problem uh... you know division and we're all kinda of just like at each or not really at each other's throats but just like fighting and just all crazy like this month march it's women's national women's month or maybe international women's month i don't know one of the one of those two or maybe even both so to all of you women out there happy women's month or yeah so yeah and lately it's like there's been so many problems with with men against women and also just race you know the past year there have been so many attacks on Asian Americans and also African Americans and yeah I mean just recently eight people were killed in Atlanta and it's just it's terrible terrible that all this is happening when you would think at a time where we all should be kind of coming together we're all just falling apart even more and it's just it's really just sad to see but not only is it sad to see that these things are happening, and it's also even sadder to see people that are supporting these things, like, or that are supporting the victims, like Asian Americans, African Americans, and people of other races and women, they are also be kind of, they're also kind of building, well, not, it's not so much big, but like, there's also a very big, like, anti-white male bias building that I've noticed over this past couple of months. It's like, you know, like I've gotten, like as I've gone out, not because I'm not wearing a, mar wearing a mask, just because like I've gone out, people have just looked at me and they've looked at me like, you know, I'm a villain, like I'm evil. But for, just for being a white male, I don't even talk to them, I'm, I'm nowhere near them, but they just look at me like, oh, he's gonna do something terrible. And what's even worse is that I've even been, like I've shown support to up to these these campaigns to uh, for Asian for for Asian and African Americans and women and online and yet I've also been shunned by the by people you know why are you here you're part of the problem your race your your gender your everything you you shouldn't be here get out like and it's just it's sad to see there's hate building from hate. And it's just like, I know not every single person is like this, you know, but it's just, it's ridiculous and sad to see this is kind of coming from this, from some, from hate. And what's worse is that once I have even been personally attacked myself, like once I was coming, walking on one of my walks, <clears throat> this woman, she verbally attacked me, like she just... I don't even, I don't know if she was just having a bad day or just, I don't know, or if just somehow I ticked her off just by existing and walking. She just went ballistic on me for, you know, just being a white male and how we are, we're all terrible, how we're all just, we are all terrible and someday we'll all pay and women are the dominant, are the dominant human and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, and what's worse, there were young children right nearby that were her own. It's like, it's like, it's just, it's sad. It's really just disturbing and sad to see that th that we are just dividing and falling apart even more. And all this hate is just building and building. And it's just, you know, it's like people, they think they know what equality is. And it's not like these people that are fighting for equality against their own race are also trying to hurt the race that, slash gender that was previously hurt in their own race and then they say oh that's equality but it's not equality now this is not the exact definition but this is my definition all races all genders shaking hands accepting the past was the past and moving forward together on equal terms into the future that's equality that's like and yet 
So many people feel, no, that's not equality, that's giving in to the other races, when, no, it's not. And it's sad to see, you know, and the source of all this, it's not, many people think it's all just in your, you know, like, inbred, kind of like thinking that, you know, all people are just secretly racist, when, yes, that is the case, there are some people, at least in the United States, that are definitely, like, just racist, you know, internally, but the main source of all this is the media. Like, many people don't see that, don't see it. The media and politics are the ones that are, are, is what is inspiring all this. Or at least a majority of this. Like, people seeing the media, you know, kind of like really just <clears throat> blasting things really out of proportion. And they just say, and they just believe it, and then they think it. And it's just so many people, they pay attention to the media. And it's just, people just need to just relax. You know, one thing that we all need right now, I, I can definitely all say, this is one one thing that we all need right now. Serenity now! Just some relaxation, just to, just chill out. You know, just take take your eyes away from this and just breathe and live and, ex and just learn to work together and be happy. So, that's kind of the problems of the world that I've noticed. <clears throat> now, I know there's, you know, millions and millions and millions and millions others. But, so now let me kind of, but yeah, that's the ones that are definitely the most popular as of late. So, now let's kind of go into what my vision is of the perfect world is. So, yeah, let's, so yeah, if, so yeah, let, let's just snap our fingers and just imagine the world is how we is how I see it so now lately so as of late President Biden has been making his way you know he's been kind of just killing it lately as president many people would say he's really you know he's doing his COVID relief his vaccinations are going great everyone likes him but well except for you know Republicans but so, and quite personally, I don't like Biden. I never did. I feel like I feel like Biden. He was just kind of brought into the president position against his will, just because everyone hated Tr Donald Trump. I don't. I did not vote for him or Trump. I literally did any me, my, any mo against anyone else that was not them when during the election ballot. Like I literally just did this, this, this. Like okay, I pick you. Like and I just circled it. Like. That's just how much I care about about elections. And, you know, it's like, when you tell people like that, you know, that you don't like either of them, it really makes people just, like, ask you the question, like, what do you believe in? Like, what side do you believe in? It's just like... Look at you. What do you believe in, huh? What do you believe in? I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you... Stranger. And when you, and my answer to that is, I don't believe in any of them. They're all like politics, at least American politics, and probably the rest of the world is crap. It's all crap. Like it's just junk. Like so, like seriously, it's like why do you, like I like people, and I just find it ridiculous that people think it really matters. Like, like recently, my neighbor. He made like he said something about like we were just talking about that stuff, and he recently just said like the U.S. government or governments they're kind of like the parents of the of their country, you know like they're they run they make decisions some good some bad, but you know just to keep the country together or kids their family together. But what, if I were to describe the U.S. government, I would just basically say they're the parents, their country their kids slash country is going crazy, but. They don't care. They don't. They don't care to run it because they make so much money just from making it look like they run it that they don't want to actually run it. They just you know talk, make it look like they're running, they're doing things, but you know they don't. Like, why do you think so many politicians are like millionaires or just super rich because they literally just get so much money just to make it look like they actually care and do stuff. Like, and when in actuality nothing gets done. So, what, and this, and what's ridiculous is, 
you know, people, they just go along with it. Either they just don't care, or they're just, they just think, they deeply, they truly think, it's just all just good, things run normally. But, and, you know, and when things do go, and when this keeps going, they, like, no one panics. Nobody panics when things go according to plan. Even if the plan is horrifying. But when things, when something happens, when it, and when this one little something could be so minor happens, it's just, it's pandemonium, it's craziness, like... Well then everyone loses their minds! It's just crazy. So what is my vision of the world? You know, what do I think should happen? I think all these people, all these fake politicians, creepy, weird politicians, should get out. They should just resign, get out, and yeah. Resignation? And do you accept the resignation of all of these liars? Of all the corrupt? Corrupt! The rich! The oppressors of generations who have kept you down with myths of opportunity. And we give it back to you. The people. Gotham is yours. None shall interfere. Do as you please. Now, I'm not saying them resign and then someone else takes them from their place. No. I'm saying all politicians, all nations, completely go away. We have complete, utter, you know, just destruction of all countries and nations and borders. And, you know, there's one term for that, and that is anarchy. Now... Many people, now before you all panic and say I'm crazy, you know, many people see anarchy as this terrible, evil thing that, you know, it's all society crumbling, everyone panicking, people killing each other, destroying everything, and well, yes, but, and, and, and yes, that is true, especially if you watch The Dark Knight. Introduce a little anarchy. Upset the established order, and everything becomes chaos. I'm an agent of chaos. <laughs> but I don't see it that way. My version, my version of anarchy, it's not that. Yes, of course, there would be some, you know, chaos of, uh, at first, because you know, everything falling apart and ending, that would be kind of chaotic. But I feel. After some time, people would come together, you know, not based on, you know, non-biased, you know, people would just come together and build a new society, a new world. Not a world based on government or money or racism or hate, just everyone working together regardless of race, gender, religious views, uh, anything else that I'm leaving out, and just working together building human society and progressing human society you know it'd be like the world we all know to get today but just no nations no governments and no economy people they would just work or choose not to you know you could just you know there's plenty of people that just don't want to do anything they can just chill relax do whatever they want and then and some people that do want to do it to work and help and do but and many people would, and you're probably thinking why would people even want to work why would they want to contribute to this what would be the point if there's no money incentive well i feel people would realize that they, we can't just act like animals because at that point we can't just act crazy and do nothing because at that point we're nothing more than cavemen like we're nothing more than homin than the hominids or animals that you know live in nature we, you know, we have to progress, we have to continue and move in a better direction for humanity to keep going. And I feel that, that idea, that, I, that way of thinking would be enough for people to continue to want to continue and work and progress humanity further. Now, I know that is extremely unrealistic, especially based on the way today is, life is, but, you know... That's my perfect world, and that's my per personal opinion of what the perfect world would be. You know, you can say you hate it, you could say you love it, you could say it's r unrealistic, but that's just my opinion, and that's that. Like, 
I don't care what your thoughts are, that's my opinion. So, yeah, I'm gonna, then, I'm gonna end this video off right here. If you all enjoyed this video, give this a like, consider subscribing if you've not. Thank you for watching. Tell me what your thoughts of my vision of the world would be. Is it crazy? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it just unrealistic? And tell me your, and also in the comments, tell me what your vision of, the, of your perfect world would be. Tell me in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.